Hello everyone, welcome to our session on financial aid and scholarships. Today we will be discussing the financial aid process. I am assuming most of you have already completed your financial aid application. However, if you haven't, the application period ends on June 30th of the following year. Unfortunately, this only applies to FAFSA applicants. The deadline for CATA applicants was March 2nd of this year. Um, the application period for both the FAFSA and CADA opens up October 1st. However, for the best awards, please file by March 2nd at the absolute latest. 30% of financial aid applicants are selected for a process called verification. Don't be alarmed if you've been selected for this process. We simply need to verify that the information you entered is accurate. If not, we'll help you correct your application to make sure your, your award is accurate. Please be sure to check your Cougar email as well as your MyCSUSM for all communications from financial aid and scholarships. This is where you will receive information regarding verification, outstanding documents, and financial aid disbursements. There are different types of aid that a financial aid applicant may be eligible for. For example, grants, scholarships, and loans. I will discuss some of these in further detail shortly. There are different types of aid that a financial aid applicant may be eligible for. For example, there are federal, state, or institutional grants, CSUSM scholarships or private scholarships, and federal or private loans. For more information, please visit our website at csusm.edu slash finaid. Here at Cal State San Marcos, we have one application for all of our scholarship opportunities. These are helpful scholarship search engines that we refer students to. Just a reminder, never pay or disclose your social security number on a scholarship application. All student loans are borrowed funds that you must repay with interest, but federal student loans usually offer lower interest rates and have more flexible repayment terms and options than private student loans. For example, there are two different types of federal student loans, a subsidized loan and an unsubsidized loan. Subsidized means that the loan is interest-free while you are attending the university at least half time and repayment does not begin until six months after you graduate or fall below half time. 